best of the year. Yeah, certainly for 80 minutes. Yeah, it's probably the um, big thing out of today's game was was the control we showed. Yeah, right throughout the game. Um, the sort of pockets of the first half we probably get, could have done better, but the second half it, it sort of really controlled things really well. You made the decision about leaving the captaincy. Were you worried what sort of impact that can have on the team? Uh, in what way? Oh, just whether it had a, a negative effect or a positive effect. I mean, not that obviously had a good effect when they came out and played well, but you're worried that those sort of decisions can, can hurt. I wouldn't have made it if I thought that. I mean, you know, I made, made the decision based on, uh, uh, yeah, purely for the, you know, for the good of the team. Uh, you know, respect Luke uh, an incredible amount, uh, not just a player, but as a person and a captain and, um, but this origin period is a, is a long tough tough one and our, our boys are away uh, for three games we're the only team I think that that's the case we're also a team that um, you know has got you know, we actually need some leadership growth and um, it's important that some other guys you know, step up and it's you know, a good chance for that to happen I'd like to make the point that he hasn't actually been in the place. You know, he just allowed you know, to just come back in and basically you know, have a sore today. Um, you know, it's hard when he focuses on origin all the time. And um, he's trying to sort of ease that burden and allow other people to you know, step into the role, which Kevin's done um, you know, well over the last few weeks. So it's not just the game, it's the amount of training he missed. It's not an original idea either, by the way. Yeah, it's been done before. Is it the case? I'm that when Origin's over, you'll automatically be up again or not? That's certainly the plan, yeah. yeah. How did he take it? How did he take it? Yeah. Um, yeah, we just got on with the job. I mean, he understands the situation. Is it a difficult conversation? Uh, not really. He was quite in the same box he's thinking of what would be made by that. No, I did. You said it before Origin. Part of our club. Look forward to you know getting him back and playing, playing for us. Um, you know, thought he showed some good signs the other night. But, um, it's unfortunate, I suppose, the incident that led to him uh, being unavailable for today. Have you had a chance to talk to him live? And he said when he was in the camp, he wanted to sit down and speak to you. And I spoke to him on occasion. I think it should be something. Like I spoke to him before he went to South Africa. No, not really. That's just that's my job, you know. I only ever make decisions based on you know, what I think is good for the team. So it's, um, yeah, obviously things some are good, and some are you know, maybe don't work out. It's, but that's all that's all I'm trying to do. But it, that's not, I don't really think that's the issue today. The issue is that the boys played really well and prepared really well and came out and showed their, their fans again. Now two home games um, in a row, two wins and. You know, hats off to the players. Must feel the season for the team the right way for you now. Yeah, it was a disappointing loss last week because I really felt that we you know, had every right to win that game. So, um, But to be able to bounce back and, and play well is you know, a good sign. I mean, we're obviously still at the wrong end of the proceedings in terms of the table, but um, you know, halfway halfway gone, we're, we're, going, we're starting to play better. So you know, we should get a bit of a confidence out of today's game. And, um, look forward to Having a rest next week and then you know getting on with the job is the most important half of the season. Yeah, well, did, did the decision Michael made with Michael Cuts have any impact on the team? Um, uh, well, sort of just an intimate issue with Michael and Ivan, but um, 
we, we know we're all on our sort of, on our toes. We've got to perform very well. It's going to be hard to beat. It's going to be nice. It's going to be strong and strong. It's going to be hard to call. Hugh Grant was a few big seconds last year. So he's big first half. Yeah, I thought to him, that's his best game he's had uh, this year. Obviously, missed him for you know, a long time earlier in the year. But um, yeah, he's sort of taken a, a bit of time to get going. But he's, yeah, yeah, today was outstanding. I thought he and uh, both Sandy Kent here together were a big part of the win. Okay, thank you, everybody. Do the ABC.